the Samsung Galaxy A8 is the latest mid to high end smartphone from the South Korean firm, sliding in below the flagship S series and offering a strong camera experience and large, colorful display. Launched just before SEAS 2018, but shown off for the first time at the show, it features a 5.6 inch, Full HD Super AMOLED display, 4GB of RAM, 32GB of internal storage, 16MP rear camera, dual front cameras and a 3,000mAh battery. There's currently no word on the Samsung Galaxy A8 release date and price, but we'll update this hands-on review as soon as we know more. The Galaxy A8 takes design cues from the flagship Galaxy S8, although you'll note that it doesn't have the same bezel-less infinity display as its more costly sibling bezels have been kept relatively thin though, with the A8's body measuring 149.2 by 70.6 by 8.4 mm. Coupled with curved rear edges, the Galaxy A8 sits nicely in the palm and doesn't feel too overbearing. The glass front and rear, and metal frame, give the Galaxy A8 a premium look, but in the hand the back of the device doesn't feel as premium as the finish on the Galaxy S8. Samsung has used a cheaper finish it and it is noticeable, but it's not really a problem. There's a power, lock key on the right, and a volume rocker on the left, both of which fall nicely under thumb and finger. Something that's not quite as well placed is the fingerprint scanner. Yep, yeah, that's right, Samsung's continued obsession for poor digit reader placement again rears its head here. A positive is the fact Samsung has moved in below the camera this time, rather than having it alongside the lens but it's so close to the snapper it won't take you long to tap the wrong thing and smudge the glass covering the same door. The fingerprint scanner itself is slightly debossed, which provides a little bit of help when it comes to locating it. With continued use, you'll likely become more accurate at locating it, but it's still annoying how close it is to the camera lens. Samsung has retained the headphone jack though, and it sits alongside a USB-C port on the base of the handset. An odd quirk is the location of the speaker, which sits above the power, lock key on the right side of the phone, 